Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the find players with zero or one losses problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code me medium and the number for this is 2225. So in the given problem, we are given with an integer array matches where every matches of i consist of a pair array, a winner of i and loser of i. This indicates that the player i, play, winner of i defeated the loser of i in a match. So the so loser lost uh, one match uh, by the winner one in this case so what we have to do is that in the series of matches given to us we have to return the list of players that have not lost any match and the list of players that have lost exactly one match so okay and the values in the two list should be returned in the increasing order so we can sort them if needed and uh, you should only consider players that have uh, played at least one match so this is the if the player has played a match then only we'll consider it to return otherwise we'll not so for this we can create an uh, array losses to keep a record of the number of losses of each player so we can keep a larger array consisting of the size of the number of players and uh, then we can iterate through each and every match and then up update the number of losses for the all the particular losers in the given matches pairs so you can see uh, suppose we have this example so we initialize the losses array according to the number of players and then we iterate through the matches like in this three is a loser then three is again a loser and then six is a loser so three will be updated with two that it lost two matches six will be updated with one then it will be updated with two then seven with one then five with one and similarly the losses array will be updated with uh, losses array will be updated with the number of losses of per player and we can initialize the losses array with zero or we can also use minus one so that we come to know that if the player has played a match or not so that can be also done and after the you have iterated all the matches and updated the loss array you can go through the loss array and create a list of uh, players having zero uh, matches lost and having one match lost and then we can return the result so this is the intuition or the approach which we are going to follow first take a loss array of the number of player size then iterate through the matches update the number of losses according to the losers then I trade through the lo losses array and uh, take out the players with zero and one losses and return the answer. So this is pretty simple. Let's come to the coding section. But before that, do like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. So the first step is to define the losses array. And we'll set it to 10 raised to power 5. Fine. No, it will be 10 raised to the power 5 plus 1. So this is correct. Now we have to iterate through the entire matches. So i is less than matches dot length i plus plus. Then we will take out the winner. So winner in this case will be matches of i comma zero. In this case, the loser will be the matches of i and 1 so we have taken out the winner we have taken out the loser now if the losses of winner is equal equal to 0 then losses of winner can be minus 1 This means till now he hasn't lost anything and 
if the losses of the loser is equal equal to minus one this means that he had won a match earlier but now he has lost one so it will be in the one lost phase otherwise losses of loss will be simply plus so this is the iteration over the matches array and updation of the loss array now we have to cons consider So we uh, create two integer list, one for the zero num zero low matches lost and one for the one matches lost, and then we'll be creating a result that will consist of these two arrays lists. We have to iterate over the losses array which we have created, and from there we can check the number if the player has lost zero matches or the player has lost one matches. So if the losses of i equal equal to minus one, this means it has he has placed played one match and only one and not lost. So in that case, zero loss dot add i and else if losses of i equal equal one then in that case we will add in one loss One loss dot add i and finally you can add result dot add zero loss and result dot add one loss and return result so let's see if it runs or not it's an error Accepted for the sample test cases. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So passes with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. And the time complexity for the solution is O of n because we iterate through the number of matches. And the space complexity is O of m where m but is limited to 10 raised to the power 5. So you can see. You can also check the C++, Python and JavaScript solution by going into the solutions panel and then checking this solution, this one. And you can go here to see the intuition, the approach, the complexity, Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember me to upvote. So I hope you understood the logic. This was pretty simple and you can solve it in any interview, upcoming interviews. So do, do like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.